Right, hello guys and welcome back to episode 4 of Let's Play Carmsden. Nope, sorry, wrong one. Let's Play Court Farms, wrong one, sorry. My mistake. Right. <laughs> In this episode we're selling silage guys. And we've got quite a bit to sell and it's going just up the road so it's going to be good for us. What I'll do is I'll do the first trailer load and then I'll chuck the rest on a time lapse. Because there's quite a bit to sell and it'll take a while. But this is going to contribute to um, getting our new, getting our fields we want. That gives me an opportunity actually to see how we get into these fields this side. I'm sure there's a gate at the end here for this one. Yep, there's a gate there for that one. And the other one I want is just down here on the left. Hopefully there's a gate down here for that one as well. Yeah, it's there. Right, okay, cool beans. Lovely. So we know how to get into them too. Cool. When the time comes to purchase them. So, the map's progressing nicely. We've got a nice bit of equipment, which is ours. Oh, hang on, where's the marker gone? I thought I tagged it. Alright, give me a sec. Um, we're not going to where it says go to. We're going to a place that's... Uh, more or less, as well, it's the same price, but it's closer, I think. Yep, there it is over there, cool beans. Yeah, it saves going to the other side of the map. Exactly the same price, this one, so... We're not getting any money out of it. Which is a good thing. I'd like to thank MB Farming for his comment on the um, first episode that uh, got released to this map. Really appreciate that, mate. Thank you very much. We're in the money. Well, we will be. thousand plus one thousand three hundred and eighty for the uh, environmental score oh clip oh whoops clip that forklift on the way out I am really liking this map I didn't think I would but I am typical British map this is with the tight lanes and tight gateways and things I've experienced a few of them myself in my time when I was on the farm back in the day. God, I never thought I'd be saying that back in my day. Anyway. It's amazing how time's moved on as fast as it has, do you know what I mean? It's shocking. Like they say, time waits for no one.
take up our second trailer there. I must park that tractor up. I've just dumped it there. For them. Right. I'm going to chuck the rest of this on time lapse, guys. I will see you when I am finished. As you can see there, we've got a load to go. So, I'll see you shortly.
Right, hello guys, welcome back. That's the end of that silage. That's all sold now, so... Took a little bit longer than I thought it would. But we're up to 166,000. So, we will get back to the farm. We will park the trailer up. Switch the tractor off. Park the other one up, obviously, because I can't leave it there like that. I'm a bit messy. Don't know what happened there, why I left it there like that, but... Yeah, so we'll park the trailer up, switch the tractor off, and we will park the other one up, and then purchase some of the fields that I want, and then hopefully once the um, field beans are ready for harvest, we'll be able to crack on with them. But I'm going to fast forward time into January, uh, sorry, into February, because it's kind of taken us into the night selling this silage. But we've got a lovely sky, look at that sunset. That's gorgeous, that is. It's a really nice sunset, looks like the sky's on fire, doesn't it? Beautiful. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 no. Nearly, nearly. That's looking at the sunset and not looking at the road. A little hint there, don't get distracted when you're driving. But yeah, it's a gorgeous sunset. Looks like there's a fire in the sky. Beautiful. Beautiful. B E A beautiful. In the words of one of my fam f favorite actors, Jim Carrey, B E A beautiful. <laughs> right, let's stick this in the shed. If it's not red, put it in the shed. If it's not if it's not blue, it just won't do. Unfortunately, fans are not blue. Well, actually, there is a blue one, I think. I think that was a limited edition that Fent did when they did the blue. I'm not sure. I'm not totally clued up on the history of Fent. Um, I know the, some of the story behind uh, International and Case. That wasn't a very nice uh, changeover, that wasn't. Case weren't very nice about it. But, yeah, anyway, enough said on that. That's why I'm not a great fan of Case. I don't know like what they did to uh, International, but there you go. It happens. I must chuck some lights in this farm if I'm going to do. Uh, if there's going to be an occasion where uh, we go into nighttime farming, that's it's part of that. Right, let's purchase some of the fields we want. Right, we want. Uh, where are we? Up here. Right, I want that one. And I want that one. And I want that one, but I won't get that one yet until we've sold the fill beans. Near said soybeans, fill beans. So that's three uh two new fields added to our collection. Soon we'll be so we've got one, two, three, four. Soon it'll be five because I want that one there as well. And I might get the one across the road if I can figure out how to get to it. I think you've got to come down here and round to get to that field, which is a bit of a nuisance. But I might see if I can put a bridge in there and bridge the bridge the water. Right guys, I am going to call it an episode here. When we return, we will be doing field work on field um, 115, was it? I've forgotten the numbers now. Yeah, we'll be doing some field work on 115, getting that prepped. And we will sort out joining field 79 and 78 together and make that one big grass field or big ish grass field. So, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, guys. Feel free to leave a like because it helps the content get out there and gets other people seeing it and gets more people subscribing to the channel. If you are watching this for the first time and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Feel free to comment, guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.